Oh, and it's Dragon API Part 2. Now, it was quite unusual that she got a huge amount of uh, interest in Dragon API. Um, but it did, it did kind of happen. So what I'm going to do here, I think, is I'm going to go through um, Dragon API. I'm going to look at the Dragon API. And in fact, I'm going to look at all the manuals. This is going to be RTFM for all the, um, all the mods in the series, right? So we can look at um, both reactor craft manuals, if it even exists. I don't the reactor craft existed right in we're in 1.02 of um, the very early version probably about between 10 and 15 um, we've definitely got the uh, the dragon API manual because I know you can just get that by doing this but uh, what other I think probably handbook is the term we're looking for let's see what's on handbook roadcraft is there anything on Reactor Craft in regards to Handbook? Alright, so what we're going to do then, I guess I guess um, when we do the later version, I'm pretty sure the Reactor Craft Handbook exists by then, but maybe it didn't it quite exist here. So let's just look at, uh, uh, we'll just see, I, I, I've kind of done this, but I can't remember what version I actually did the first one in. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's basically, so I'll basically just do a, a brief synopsis of what's going on here. So rotational generation, power, talk time, speed. So it's just a, um, you know, like just a triangle. Okay. Needs a lion. Iron. Did I say iron? <laughs> no, I said another word. All right. So I think that was about all I could get from it. Yeah, I think this is quite early. Yeah, because it's an early version, you see. I don't think it does. It does have most of the stuff in it. it doesn't have the proper manual. But the re the rotary car one was a kind of proper manual. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got fuel rods, control rods, boilers, turbines, condensers, and pumps. And of course, it's a three by three um, thing for that. Uh. So there's like like all the stuff. There's a um, yeah. A lot of it is a bit like a bit like Love Magic version of a nuclear of like nuclear reactors. Okay, basic reactor design involves arranging a number of fuel rods so they're in line with each other. Mix boilers into the arrangement and pump water in the bottom. Pump the steam out the top into a steam grate. Uh, and the grates below the turbine and the condenser will collect the steam and put it back into the boilers. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Uh, and it's got a new ore gen for the end of the nether and the overworld. Uh, so any color fluorite for the uranium processor, but only white fluorite. Uh, by any of the machines, and there will be uh, irradiation. So, I've... I think that's more that's more like um, it's more more like a crystal, like a geostar crystal than um, actually like uh, taint though. Uh. Okay, so dietary. I should think I might actually have to do this one. I don't think I've actually done this yet. When I think about it. Uh, so they can drop dye from their leaves. I don't think I've even seen this rainbow forest biome. They might be quite hard to find that. Uh, hmm. I don't know. 
expand redstone yeah I think that she did the comment I don't think I actually made that video or, or, or uploaded it uh all right 10 to 20 percent vanilla stone uh, yeah I've done I've done a pretty um, uh, extensive video on that uh I think a lot of these just not are not were not actually done. This was there. Uh, uh, yeah, the interesting thing about this is that um, you know, for instance, it's pretty obvious it worked quite nicely with Firelanders and stuff like that, which was the original name for Enderman. Uh, this, I'm not sure if it was around. I'm not sure if it is actually around. It probably will be though. I remember in Electric Wave there was actually a very similar thing here. Uh, so that was pretty interesting. Um, you know, just this one one super super mob. Um, we'll see. I'm certainly, uh, certainly the AI thing is, is an interesting topic. I'm, I'm very curious to see who can really do the best AI. That is a that is a big question, isn't it? Um, uh, this okay, so it's, so it's just some changes to the functionality of TNT, which I don't believe actually. Yeah, I don't think this actually was incorporated. It reminds me a bit of um, Creeper Collateral, actually. Uh, similar sort of uh, idea. This, I believe that's actually in Blood and Bones, isn't it? This I never saw. This is definitely in Blood and Bones. This I never saw. But yeah. So yes, yeah, so like I say, this is manual time. So this is why I put I put it in Dragon, Dragon API. It is basically just uh, read all the manuals. All right, so we've seen all this. So let's look at this early version of this. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure about the interface of this this menu even now. Um, I find this a bit weird. Am I just I mean am I just scrolling through the pages here? I'm not though. I mean it looks like I am just scrolling through the pages. What, there's thirty pages are there? Well, how come I'm seeing different stuff when I'm on page two? That is what I don't really get. Maybe it's been fixed, but I would I would be I'd be pretty surprised. Because this is this is fucking ridiculous. This is not page two if there's different things on the page. All right. So yeah, what it basically means, I think, is that each page has got a sub page. Yeah, but probably not all of them have got sub page. All right, so we'll start on page one. We'll just go through page one, and then we'll get to page two, and we'll get to page two, and all that. So what kilowatt megawatt uh, energy per unit time? One kilowatt is one joule per second. Newton meters unit of torque, force times distance. Radians per second is a unit of angular rotational velocity. One rare, uh, radian per second is nine point five five revolutions per minute. Uh, yep, uh, unit of angle uh, equal to 180 over pi uh, is a radian. So it's 6.28 radians. Okay, uh, yeah. Talk of the strength of the return, greater torque swings at greater loads. Therefore, a machine that requires more force to operate, such as a compactor, will naturally require more torque than one like the wood car. Angular velocity is rotational speed. For example, a machine that mixes things quickly, such as a fractionator, will require greater angular velocity than one which mixes things more slowly, like the fermenter. That's pretty nice, that bit, actually. Okay, so different machines uh, have different strengths, which controls when the shafts fly the made of them fell. Flow is fell based on this two tensile strength, which shafts have tensile shear overload. 
All right, so yeah, so there are the values. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to like just read it because I've probably done this before. Uh, load limits, flywheel load limits. I'll just go, I don't know what I'll do, I'll just look at all the pages in order. Basic supply of transfer. Uh, all right, so there's no build up, it's just a discrete measurement. Uh, okay. Hmm. Oh, I see. I think. I think if I just go through the menu here, it will be fine. Actually. Okay. So you need lubricant. Stop from wearing down. Uh, so with the canola, the plants are going to be harvested or drop seeds. They share the same requirements as wheat in terms of light level, water supply, and so on. They do. They require lots of water, uh, and you can compact them into a dense clump. Okay. Angular transducer. Right, uh, right click engine gearbox. You'd be informed. I think there's also a tab function. I'm not sure if that actually exists there. I think if you press tab, something might happen. Uh, it's for reorienting machines which were either misplaced or different place. It's screwed over, yeah. You can, uh, yeah. You basically need both the transducer and the screwdriver for the stuff. I remember when I was doing stuff with the pistons and the early rope curl. Uh, some of them can be enchanted. The borer can receive silk touch, fortune, and efficiency with each in the same machine as a digital tool. Right click it with an enchanted book. And they're the ones that can be in China. Boring, fireworks display, woodcut, force field, mob harvest, and arrow gun. And one mega jewel per tick, 56 kilowatts, fuel back at energy. Hmm. I what that means, I don't know. Extract duplication rates, normal. 50% per step, nether or 75, converted to 90. All right. Page 2, let's go to page 3. So, four new means of torque, 256 radians, uh, and 1024, so you don't need anything for it. Uh, use wind. Uh, Uh, yeah, and it's again like most windmill things, it's affected by the Y level. Uh, so it will continue generate if you get heat below it and water piped in. Oh wow! I should just use this one, shouldn't I? Oh well, gasoline engine. Uh, one's on ethanol. Uh, you put in the ethanol crystals, and that's it. Uh, the AC engine uh, needs an alternating redstone signal uh, that you can get with a clock, redstone clock. Alright, the performance engine uh, so you need ethanol and you now need to put the coolant, start getting the coolant stuff like sort of big reactors, that stuff is important as well. Uh, Hmm. Okay, it is just, just fuel spray. Yeah, yeah. And the additives. Blaze powder is the best. Uh, hydrokinetic engine takes full waterfall. And you want the water to you want the water to fall from very high up, basically. So there's that. A micro turbine, little one. Uh, no, hardly any torque, but the speed is, is absurdly fast. Gas turbine is the most powerful engine of it all. Mm. 
there's some uh, some effects. I think a lot of these, these a lot of um, well, I, well, I probably have to do a lot of these gas mods and like wind stuff and the that weather mod as well. I think that will give me some interesting insights into some of this stuff. Uh, solar panel plant is using it. So, uh, Power comes out the bottom of the tower. Hmm. I think the thing about this bit is probably the the, the way to do it better would simply be to have um, simply just to show where the outputs are, what is required in a in a very simple list form with icons. That would be better. Okay, so uh, shaft is. Uh, most powerful my place. To be honest, I've looked at these a lot um, in my Rotary Craft episode, so I'm going to kind of gloss over them here. The flywheel, though, I didn't actually look at because it was a storage item, and I didn't really want to do that um, because storage because storage is such a big deal in computer science that I always, whenever I see it, I always think, "No, I'm not going to do that." That's what I don't want to do. Really, it's like something which I only I'll only do if I really have to, but it's not something that I actually want to do, um, and that's something which I think is a good good technique to do that. Okay. Oh wait. Was that the last one fly well? Yeah it was. Uh, CVT. So I did kind of look at this stuff. This is the thing that most people use. Uh, yeah. Okay, can't simultaneously charge and release power though. Uh, okay. So it's probably not hugely useful, we can't do that. It might be, I don't know. Uh, belt hub transports power cheaply over a large distance. And we have the blast furnace. Uh, makes steel need to be 600 centigrade day work table uh, and you can recharge the tools with it and it's storage Hmm. Uh, sugar, dirt to make yeast. Yeah, I think I'll look at these in a bit more detail. In um, I don't know. I'm going to be moving on to the next version, so maybe I'll look at those in a bit more detail later on. Uh, and I will also say to you to look at my item list videos that I did for um, React Crop and Very Craft. And depending on when you're watching it, maybe some more. Um, uh, maybe the fan. Uh, I didn't actually know this. The fan can be used, be used to uproot crops for harvesting. Interesting. I'll bring a bait box. That's an interesting fact about Enderman. Yeah, soul sand is, is a funny material. But they think zombies standing on it in daytime burn. I was thinking about that as well. Uh, we'll control it. Power. How inputs will that looks quite interesting. Sprinkler, can you do that? Woodcut, more parts there. We have fertilizer, an accessory machine. Interesting.
I'm getting a blood magic episode I use one of these. So I think this was changed quite a lot. And this is the interesting thing. So you can actually have very different experiences depending on what version you're using. Which is very interesting. Okay, the heater, the iron vacuum. Control. Keeps new items for despawning. Mm. All right, and then there's just a few of these things. Uh, that's quite so interesting. Well, no, what? Uh, uh, that is quite interesting there. Ooh, there. I would love to try that actually. I probably will at some point. Okay, various other things. Alright, so what I'm going to do now. Did I do it yet? I'm pretty close to the end, I think. Boring machine, wind spring, high strength spring. Okay, so there's a, there, and, and it's good. The thing about this mod is that, is that the mass is that, the mass is actually pretty easy. Um, so that is what makes it quite appealing. So that's basically we probably what? Night vision helmet. That's pretty cool. There's a little animation in there. Some goggles and stuff. Yeah, that's the interesting thing. Do goggles uh, make the uh, actual, you know, things like the angular transducer sort of pointless? Impossible. I mean, still in girl alternative. alternative. Yeah, there's a little bit. Ah, this is what I was wondering. At so, go from dust, slurry, dust, slurry, cesspool, <laughs> cesspool. Cool. Oh, I see. Yeah, this has been done many times, this cold compression thing, these diamonds. It's nice to see it, I guess. So I just, well, I just be, uh, it's not obsidian in the pulse jet furnace. Cool. I don't think I really looked at any of this in this DL before. Alright. So that's going to do for this stage. So like I said, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move on and look at the uh, handbook, the handbooks rather, that are available. I, I did kind of do this, yeah. Uh, the handbooks that were available in the final version of um, uh, Tech World 2. Okay, for 164. Okay, so what I've done now is I've actually uh, gone from version 1.0.2 of Tech World 2 
all the way up to the latest version, probably and the last version basically, of Tech World 2, which is 1.1.7. So uh, basically a shift right from the beginning of Tech World 2 development right to the end of Tech World 2 development. So really, in a sense, uh, it wasn't quite like that actually. Um, 164 actually probably went on for quite a bit longer um, with nothing basically happening. Um, but uh, regardless, it's still really, in terms of the development cycle, um, it's, it's from beginning now of 164 development to the end now, and then of course we'll finish with the uh, with the very latest that I can find at the moment. So, React Crop, uh, yeah, this didn't actually have a handbook, did it? But it does now. It, well, it does. It does in this in this time period. Um, so yeah, um, and we can just uh, so now we're going to look at the book. Yeah, that's how we do it, isn't it? Okay. You may know how to use a book at some point. So, interesting, you can do it. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, okay. So, yeah, so looking at the speed of light and mass consumption. So, loads of energy, tiny mass consumption. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then we've got this, uh, this atom stuff. Okay, so there's a chain reaction. And some loss. And so, okay, it generates heat, uh, which boils water into steam. And steam drives the turbine and makes makes power. Uh, yeah, and it's, it lasts a long time, basically. So yeah, uh, uh, so yeah. So it's just looking at the enrichment process. Uh, Okay, and so when when it when there's a reactor meltdown, that's when we get corium. So it's radioactive fluid. Okay. Uh, okay, some status effects. Okay, so there's some sort of biome changing thing going on, I think. Or, I'm not sure. I can't tell if it's actually that biome change thing or it's uh, um, the status effects. And then the level of the status effects just decreases, like from level 3 to level 2 or something. I don't know. I'm sure I'll work it out at some point. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that was page 1, wasn't it? And that was page 2. Now we do move on to page three, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so processing. Uh, okay. So how to get from nothing to how to get from the react rotary crust to react crust? I guess. So it dissolves fluorite in water to make hydrofluoric acid, uh, and then you dissolve uranium in that to make uranium hexafluoride gas, and that's what you use for enrichment. Because you want two, three, five, but only two, three, eight is available, or something like that. And it's uh, the quantity there is like one percent of whatever. The isotopes are a little bit. Uh, the flat, uh, depleted uranium dust and rich uranium dust. And two, yeah, two, three, five is the rare one. Okay, cool. Electrolyzer. Uh, Make salt turn salt from uh, to sodium chlorine or water into hydrogen oxygen. So a bit like that thing in mind can that uh, separates that out. Sort of thing. Oh, I, I need to do more mind chem as well. I think. Um, um, the light is drawn. All right, so you get the heavier stuff out the bottom and the light stuff on the top. Okay, that's the electrolyzer. Ammonia synthesizer, 
makes ammonia from water, ammonium chloride, and quicklime. Neutron and radiation chamber makes deuterium, tritium. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so that was page three, is it? I do remember how this movie works. So now we need page four. There we go, page four. Okay, so between our power nuclear reactor and work together to convert into usable shock power. Uh, so the boiler absor absorbs heat from the surrounding machines and uses it to boil internal liquid into steam. Uh, all right, so after, and if it can't do that, uh, um, yeah, the steam just builds up. It won't be able to to make the reactor cooler. And the temperature rises about six fifty when the boiler is full of ammonia. The ammonia will ignite and detonate. Okay, uh, transfer steam lines to transfer the steam away from the reactor to the turbine. Uh, and it's got infinite capacity. If you don't don't break it when you're using it. Okay. Steam great, uh, release it into the world. It will rise until it's a blockage where it will spread out. And ideally, steam should rise directly into a turbine so its energy can be extracted. Yep, yeah. okay. A turbine extracts the energy from steam, which moves along its length. Uh, the turbine will gradually accelerate as it receives steam, and its torque will be forced through amount of steam flowing through. Now, the turbine, especially rotating rapidly, will be extremely fragile. It will not run if its blades are obstructed. Okay. A condenser, we collect steam blocks and convert it back to liquid reuse. And you can, because the pressure is extremely low, so we must be repressurized for it to be used. Why well, not be terrible in the nuclear water based thing? Uh, ammonia is a. Uh, 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 okay, so you want to do it with ammonia really for the condenser, that makes the most sense. Uh, heat exchanger uh, takes in the top and cools it down. Takes it uh, transfer. Okay, so these. Okay, so some of these machines certainly have got have got a uh, uh, non, you know, but they basically just preset IO slots. Okay, so the pressurizer repressurizes the low pressure water ammonia, so it can be reused in the reactor. Uh, we've got a centrifuge. So there's different types of compressor, basically. Okay, so there's page four out of the way. Uh, what's this page? Uh, now I need to do page five, don't I? Uh, that's six. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Four. Now this book is not got page five. Is it not page five? Doesn't look like it, does it? No. Okay, so uh, the Pebble Bay Reactor Core fuel unit, uh, you put fuel pellets uh, and you put it, and the heat is best transferred to the carbon dioxide heat exchanger. Yep. And the carbon dioxide heat exchanger absorbs heat from a Pebble Bay Reactor and transfer it into the carbon dioxide. And the carbon dioxide can be drawn out the top, fed into the heat exchanger. Okay. Uh, yes, so. Uh, Page seven then. Uh, the fuel core stores nuclear fuel and is a source of all nuclear reactions and heat generation. Uh, and lay the core periodically. Uh, okay. Uh, oh yeah, and this is. Uh, and there's this, uh, yeah, that's 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 a cool thing. You can uh, retract, and you know, it's a bit like that film Con Air or something. Okay, so uh, no, actually, was it Con Air? No, oh, it wasn't. Oh, uh, there's two films. What is that one? It's like Con Air. Ah, it's got Sean Connery in it there, and it's set on it. What is that really famous film? Oh, I can't remember it now. It's set on an island or something. Oh. 
set on Ireland, and there's all sorts of. Oh, who's in it? Sean Connery's in it. I can't remember who else is in it now. I want to say like Nicolas Cage. It must be Nicolas Cage, or I wouldn't have thought of Connery, right? Where's that one? I, can't see, I really can't remember. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, Colin Sell. Uh, um, uh, it's not. Uh, yeah. Okay, so similar to what you get in the ICT reactor stuff like that, and uh, and the big reactors actually, I've recently been looking at. And yeah, I didn't, I haven't been clicking these arrows, I guess. But you know, I'll, I guess I'll, maybe I'll do that in, in the next section, maybe. Um, uh, reactor CPU can be used to manage the operation of a nuclear reactor. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. And what's that, page seven? Is that what we on? So that's seven. This is a breeder reactor. So, breeder, uh, sodium cooled breeder reactor, liquid metal fast breeder reactor. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, so you've got different cores. Uh, breeder reactor fuel. Steam sodium heater accumulate heat from the surroundings and heat up liquid pump to it. It only accepts molten sodium uh, and will output hot molten sodium at 300 degrees. Then you can use it in the heat exchange. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, that's eight, nine. Yeah, so then we've got the hydrogen preheater. Use the beam from the heat ray to heat. A mixture of deuterium and trinium is a plasma usable in the fusion reactor. Mm, that's quite cool. No, they must be contained in a proper heat of the unit, multi box structure. It must be in the proper heat rate beam. Uh, and plasma injector uh, injects the fusion plasma into the tokamak reactor. Uh, it must be contained in a proper multi block. Uh, toroidal magnets, main components of tokamak. Uh, in order to find it, probably must be placed in rotate grid. I wonder if there's anything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it ends up being a circle, allowing it to be contained and to reach certain density for you to take place. Uh, so, yeah, this is a big multi, it's basically a big multi block thing. Neutron absorber, so neutrons and turn it. Yeah. And that, I believe, is about it. So, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to see if I can find. Uh, I'm going to go into um, a new, into the latest version, right, of um, of whatever mod pack I can find, really, um, and uh, yeah, just look at uh, look at how Dragon API has changed from then. Uh, oh, actually, what am I talking about? <laughs> what am I talking about? I can't do end the video yet. I haven't even done Rotary Craft yet. All right. So yeah, so Rotary Craft. There is quite a lot of stuff to do. This looks the same. This looks the same. This looks the same. Uh, it's about the same. We've got the machine tiers now. So that one is way higher than all the rest. And yeah, I suppose we could look at the tier, that would be useful. EMP is the highest, then light bridge is the second highest, then laser gun, then rail gun, then heat ray and the bedrock breaker. Uh, force field, uh, then we've got freeze gun, sonic weapon, and compactor. Block ground, containment field, cave scan, it's corner control. Some of these are quite, need quite a lot. Uh, the borers are lower, fractionation units are lower, and lower still. Things like uh, obsidian factory, and then most of the stuff uh, is down here at the 16 or below level. Grinder is pretty low. Bucket filler is even lower. And then some of this stuff is literally is is the lowest really, isn't that the lowest? No, the lowest still is projector. And some of them just don't need anything. Alright. But yeah, I, I imagine most of the early games really this stuff there. There's fertilizer, stuff like that, pump, wood crafting, fermenter. Okay. All right, so we look at that sort of menu here. Uh, so we just look through page two, and uh, not a huge amount of difference here. 
I can see some times and stuff like that. Okay, so there's page two, and then we'll do page three, right? Yep. Uh, uh, some information about lubricant, canola seeds, angular transducer, screwed over, enchanting machines, uh, and some more interactions. So we saw that before, that didn't seem to be changed much. There's also uh, computer crafts or open computer sections. And we've got some uh, some uh, methods here as well. Okay. Hmm. No, no set methods. So this seems to be basic get, read methods, print stuff. Uh, yeah, so very. Uh, let me just check that's actually correct. What I'm saying. It doesn't look like there are any set methods here, then. Are there? Am I just not? It doesn't look like there's anything really you can. Uh, no, so you basically can't really control it via computer craft. I don't think. It doesn't look that way. But each item has got some various different methods anyway for it. various um, accesses there. And uh, and yeah, print statements. But yeah, most of it is just accesses basically. So yeah. Uh, that's what page we're on here. This is page three then. So. Uh, power supply now. The DC electric, the wind turbine, steam engine, gasoline engine, AC electric engine, performance engine, hydrogen kinetic engine. Uh, yeah. Uh, I keep forgetting the fucking page. So we did. That was page four. Uh, yeah, page four. Uh, page five again is missing. Um, okay, so various different things with the uh, shaft cube. I've uh, I've looked at this plenty of times. Uh, not the flywheel, but that will uh, that will actually uh, sure look at that in a moment. Well, not in a moment. But I I will look at that at some point because flywheel is pretty important. Um, production machines. Did I miss anything? Let me just check. I'm in the root folder. Yeah, there's a flywheel. Production machines here, yeah, I think so. Blast furnace, work table, fermenter, fractionation unit, bedrock breaker. The boring machine and uh, the boring machine do I want to control the tunnel shape. Interesting. Okay. And the pump. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is very difficult to navigate, isn't it? All right, so we're missing out pages nine and ten as well, from the looks of it. Uh, grinder here. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so the seeds are what you use as the lubricant. I didn't even realize that really. Uh, oh, yeah, the extractor, yeah. The extractor is the one I was thinking, not the grinder. Uh, both of those are very useful, though. So, yeah, I could look at it. Stone to cobblestone, cobble to gravel, gravel to sand, yeah. Uh, Turn the swords into oil. Uh, okay. And it's just the ore. Uh, well, I suppose it's probably going to go up to five times, probably. Quintupling. I don't know. Uh, 
it melts obsidian to that oh yeah it's that blast resistance now yeah compactor uh, is the thing used to get the diamonds out of coal and still fewer for a fuel enhancer uh, like a refinery basically a magnetizing unit uh, okay and what else did I want to talk about here okay <laughs> yeah okay Hopefully, I hope I'm not missing any pages. I'm really trying not to miss any pages, but uh, it's very difficult with no, with basically no tool tips. And uh, this is a general structure. It's quite difficult to actually use. Um, uh, okay. 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 So there's various different things here: spawn control, sprinkler, woodcutter, mob harvester. All right. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I believe this is the final one, and there's various different pipes. Uh, so yeah, okay. So oh yeah, and I need to also look at the Dragon API book as well. All right, yeah. So this is this is what's just the way I decided to do things. So. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm not sure there's going to be a huge amount of difference in the actual mods. So I'm going to just very briefly do this. May as well. But I honestly don't think there's much here. This, I wonder if this is some kind of thing with uh, that tells mod thing. I kind of think maybe that is. That is what's going on, but I don't know. Uh, it would make sense, wouldn't it? Uh, or this one as well. You never know, really. End of forest. Uh, is there anything new? In it? Yeah, that's true, actually, isn't it? Uh, yes. Okay. And that was that. That was there. 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 That is new, and which that will have to be separate. That is the electric field thing. Yeah, I can't really include that here. Uh, I mean, I could, but I've, I've, but I'll, I'll do a letter off separately. I think. Uh, should I? Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. I guess you'll know if I've got a video out. But anyway, that's the end of this uh, section. Anyway, for um, the one point one point seven in one six four, uh, Tech World Two thing. But uh, yeah, let's move on to the latest version of the Dragon API right now. Okay, so like I said, what I wanted to do with Dragon API is I also wanted to finish it off in 1.7.10, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, and also another thing, I, I may as well, just as a little bonus, just, just in case you randomly manage to get to this point in the video, um, I will actually just, I'm going to go through the electric craft items really quickly in, in the style that I was doing the, um, the uh, you know, the similarly uh, dated uh, rotary craft and reactor videos. So I'll just do that very quickly. So we just go uh, tin ore, silver ore, nickel ore, aluminum ore, platinum ore, induction generator, Induction motor, resistor, relay, RF transfer cable, electric meter, transformer, copper ingot, tin ingot, silver ingot, nickel ingot, aluminum ingot. Oh yeah, they also in actually different sections before, and they platinum ingot, uh, steel wire, uh, tin wire, nickel wire, aluminum wire, copper wire, silver wire, gold wire, platinum wire, superconducting wire, wire, superconducting wire, uh, insulated steel wire, insulated tin wire. Uh, insulated nickel wire, insulated and aluminum wire, insulated copper wire, insulated silver wire, insulated gold wire, insulated platinum wire, insulated superconducting wire, insulated superconducting wire, uh, redstone battery, uh, lustrous battery, azulent battery, 
uh, Procyon battery, uh, graphene battery, or rural battery, a rural battery, uh, lapis dust, uh, diamond dust, quartz dust, energy crystal dust, uh, redstone energy crystal, lustrous energy crystal, zoolant energy crystal, Procyon energy crystal, graphene energy crystal, and a rural energy crystal, RF energy crystal, RF storage battery, and uh, is that Terra RF? Wow. Okay, because I've heard of that term, but anyway. Um, but yeah, so what do I want to do here? Yeah, let's look at, uh, let's go in the order that we were doing things uh, before anyway. Um, so we'll, this time we look at the, uh, like I say, this I don't think has changed a huge amount. I'll be honest, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Uh, this looks very, very similar. The reactor craft port, I feel, is... Uh, for at least this is the early stage in 1.7. Of course, by the end of 1.7, it probably looked completely different. But at this stage, in early 1.7, you know, here at the sort of in, in like November of 2014, um, this does not look the same at all. I mean, sorry, this does look the same. It looks exactly the fucking same. Okay, uranium processor, I uh, Electrolyzer, ammonia synthesizer, neutron radiation tip. I think that probably is the same. Yeah. Turbines. There may be something slightly different here. I was thinking maybe uh, pressure. That looks kind of the same as well. Pebble reactor core. That looks the same. Yeah, looks the same. A lot of it looks the same. Really, it really does. Uh, the sodium heater. Yeah, I remember that being here. Pre-heated fusion plasma. The toroid magnet. Solenoid magnet. The neutron absorber. I think it's probably there. It's all just like elements of the uh, of industrial craft and stuff like that. Oh wait a minute! Have I just gone through it? Yeah, I think probably the, one of the reasons the pages are missing is probably because I'm not navigating it. Uh, there's definitely there's definitely a trick to the navigation which I'm not seeing. Uh, I don't know though, I feel like I probably have seen quite a lot of it. You know, it's one of those things you just sort of click around on it. Hmm, maybe this stuff is new. I don't really recall seeing this thing. Hmm. So it might be new. But even if it's not new, I guess I may I may not have looked at it in the previous section. I may have just accidentally missed it. Yeah, I don't think there's that much here though. Alright, so there's that. Now we'll do uh variety craft and we'll end with uh we'll end with Dragon Age Army as well. Is the, I mean it's the name of the video, but like I say, uh yeah. Um, okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a, uh, I'm just wondering if I don't understand why there's no set methods though. That really is why I just don't get here. I guess that changes in the config file, I don't know. Anyway, so Yeah, there's a hydrokinetic engine. I wonder where I can find new stuff.
I'm going to try to press these. I think I kind of get what's going on with these arrow keys now. But I don't really get it that well. It'd be quite actually interesting to see like a game where you had like a... Uh, uh, trying to make like a very confusing uh you know like the mod itself is literally just a ui but it's just the most impossible to navigate ui and you can get like a cheap it'd be like very a meet like a like a meter sort of meter meter <laughs> yeah well meta meta that's it sort of thing but um be interesting because I, I really i'm really not sure about this menu at all so I feel like the plus and minus keys take you to the, the next section, the next subsection within the main, and these are just the main sections here. That's what I feel is going on, but it might not do that. Uh, okay. Okay, so that's a better sprinkler, the ground sprinkler. I think most of these pipes are yeah, about the same. And yeah, so not a huge amount of difference really from what I can tell. Some of these items do look quite new. Uh, but maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. I'd have to really review it. Uh, but I'm not seeing a huge difference in really any of it. It still looks like the same sort of stuff really in a sense. Oh wait a minute, was this thing there? Uh, yeah, and you can get it with the boring machine, yeah, I saw that before. Yeah, I think there are sort of like, also there's links inside the thing as well. But yeah, so that's that, and I guess we will end this Dragon API video on, uh, let's look at this book again. Rotorycraft, yep, and yep, let's see if there's anything, any new mods here listed, if anything has particularly changed or looks different in this section, not really, not really. Not really. Not really. Not really. Not really. And this has not been added yet. And that's about it. There's not really much I can say about that. So it doesn't look like there's a huge amount of um, new stuff in 1.7.10 really. Uh, at least in this early stage. Just some little bit of port. But there are um, perhaps a few different things that are coming in. Um, I don't know. I, I, it's hard to say when I play with it. When I play with this stuff more, I may, it may uh, become a bit more readily apparent to me. Anyway, that's all.